Alrighty, here we go. Hello ladies and gents. This is the Rev and today we have a special indie love for you which is the uh, program I put together that focuses on indie titles only. Um, I'm a big indie fan, have been for a long time. I think that you know a lot of AAA games and stuff have been so destroyed by their monster budgets and way too many restrictions. Anyways, so we're playing Betrayer. Released this morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can go to Steam or BlackPowderGames.com to pick up a copy for yourself. I'll be going through explaining things as well as I can. I spent, it took me about, oh, 30 hours in the last four days or so to beat the game. Take it all the way to the end and, whoo, there's a lot to do. <laughs> but now that I actually know what I'm doing, because until they put a wiki out, it is a lot of exploration so as you see we're starting out here on the beach brand new game it hurt to do that uh, to, to erase my game I'm telling you <laughs> but I do it for you guys I do it for my followers speaking of which please follow my uh, channel here and if you'd like to go to uh, the rev plays um, over at YouTube you'll see I've got Closing in on 200 videos. I've got like I think 100. This was the 179th, 100th, 80. So I'm gonna keep plugging away. And if you guys would like to support me, um, at the very least, if you could go there, maybe share a few of my videos, that would be phenomenal. Because as everyone knows, especially new people like me to Twitch, we don't get paid to do this at all. So, okay. So let's begin. We are. That's our ship. We uh, just got. We just woke up on the beach. Um, the very beginning, and I, I don't think I showed it, but the very beginning, you see uh, a Spaniard ship pulling off. They're the ones that forced us and crashed us into the reef. So, that's where the story begins. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is go through. You saw the two different types of things you can open. There are a couple of other little things that you'll be looking for as we go, and I'll explain. Barrels, though, not worth your time. They do use barrels, but in a different capacity. So, if you folks have any questions or anything, I am watching chat, so go ahead and throw them at me. If you want to know anything about the game, anything like that, uh, the reason this game caught my eye so much a year ago when I got in on the um, the alpha the early access on Steam was because these gentlemen I think it's a group of six guys all worked on the original monolith team that produced fear the first one not all the other ones that really got diluted but the woman in red I do not know who you are or why you've come here, but you should turn back lest you become trapped in this place like I am. Alrighty. So this is what we'll be using to figure things out. It's really nice that they put this in so that you can go and you can uh, read everything. You, this whole thing will be filled up by the time we're done all the way I mean we'll have to be using keys all kinds of fun stuff so we'll get there alrighty another chest now in the whole game, I think this first tutorial starting area is the only one that doesn't have... Aha! Dear, dear sir or madam, I have come into possession of a number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value. As a token of my good faith, I offer you a free bow in hopes that you may survive long enough to become a regular customer. Arrows will be free for a limited time as well. Beware that they are they sometimes deflect from armored enemies. So be sure to carry plenty and recover them when you can. I will put my trust in your honor to leave payment 
for whatever else you choose to purchase. Respectfully, John Ho Merchant. And now in every section that we go to, every um, town, fort, settlement, whatever have you, there is a main place and there is one of these. So let's see. So we've got a shoddy longbow here that does 35 damage. Let's go to our inventory. We have a cracked longbow that only does 30 damage. So we'll start with this. And it doesn't have any of the arrows. All right. Please tell me I've got arrows. I'm sure I do. Okay. So that'd be... Oh, wait a minute. I need to actually put that one there. And then the cracked. Underneath it, right? Yeah, 35, yeah. So then we have 16 and 16, and... There we go. 16 and 16. Cracked longbow. Oh, shoddy longbow. Never mind, I'm sorry. It's uh, two different... It's, it's, uh, I think it's put there to show you how everything is upgradable. Okay, so, from this point on, we have to be 100% keen-eyed because of the Spaniards. Because your well-being is important to me, both physically and sentimentally, I feel I should advise you that enemies are easiest if to slay them unawares. For their rage makes them stronger. Shots to the head will also inflict gr more grievous injury than those to trunk or limbs. Please rely on me whenever you find yourself in need of a of deadlier implements of warfare. Quarterly, John Howe, the merchant. So this dude, like, is in front of you the whole time. Which is interesting. And I'm going to leave it at that. Because these gentlemen put a lot of hard work into this game, and the last thing I would want to do. Alright, so let's see if my aim is any good today. Hoo ah! I guess so. What's up, son? It was not to mention that enemies are more likely to discover if you are moving. Crouching makes you significantly harder to detect and allows you to move quietly. Use the wind to your advantage. Gusts will mass your footsteps, making it easier to run up behind your foes without alerting them. Okay. Tomahawk. Now that's a, it's a single throw weapon. And it... Um, here, I'll show you guys. Doo -doo. And you can pick it up. You can use it. Um, it'll take a while, but eventually we will get more of them. You'll get a harness, and you'll be able to get uh, a couple more. So, And yes, I do have the sound up. Oh. So, they're just... The sound in this game is specifically designed... Really? Oh my god, twice. Now I just made him mad. Ouch. Whew. I wasn't sure. <laughs> so, dear sir or madam, I hope that the boy I gave you has been of reasonable service. I would like to encourage you to consider some of my finer wares. I accept coin or barter as you see fit. Please check back in time to see what new items I have acquired. And it gets funnier and funnier from there. All right, so common longbow is going to cost us, what, 400? Woo-hoo! Weez a ways off. That's all good. That'll be the one thing I probably spend the most money on. The other thing we'll want to take and pick up as soon as we can when it shows up, yeah, is the quiver here. So, let us begin. So as we're going through, you're gonna you see that constantly it says journal updated. 
Ah, like the trowel. So we bring up hard sale, but not everything. Ah, uh, now this is the health system right here. There's these barrels spread throughout everywhere, and you start with one. No, you don't even start with one. Well, hopefully I, we'll get one pretty soon, but you get a um, water skin that you can carry with you, and you hit the Q button, and it helps. It, 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 uh, they're kind of like li little, little med kits, and you have to have them, because as you get deeper and deeper in this, you're going to take hits. It's just going to happen. So, the Indian Keem, who they call, whoa can't pronounce that, was much pleased by our gifts of tools and trinkets and gave us in return an abundance of corn and bear meat, which is an excellent victual. Okay. Some of the wording, of course, is from 1604, so. Alrighty. Be human. It is only ash and ember. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now, in every location, you have to find the bell. Oh, no, it appears to be in good condition. It could probably be remounted from where it was hung. Yes, it can be. More clues. If I hit it right. Whoop, there we go. The Lord Governor has determined that we cannot spare any men to send to Fort Henry. We are harried constantly by the Naturals, who have recently grown more hostile towards us for unknown reasons. The Naturals are the Native Americans. I think. <laughs> I don't think it ever actually says, but if you listen to some of the other uh, terminology that comes along with it, um, that is definitely what they, I think they expect you to... Um, take from it. Another ash figure. <laughs> ah, graveyard. Okay. Now, it drove me nuts. This. I probably spent two to three hours in this first area trying to find this spade. Guess what? It ain't here, and you ain't gonna find it for, what, three, four cleared areas? So, make notes, keep these little piles in your mind. You'll be able to tell the difference between what we can dig up with a trowel and what we can pick up with a shovel. Okay, oh, of soldiery. Alrighty, now. Oh, good, it does automatically equip. So, everything reclo reloads 5% faster. And the way that they did this, basically, so you know how things go. Um, all of the, the, the charms, wherever it starts out, whatever percentage it is faster, the next level up, it's doubled. And then the next level up, it is, so let's say if it's 5, it'd be uh, 10. And then the, the, the best one is 15. And it does that. Some of them are 4, 8, 12. So, whoops. And, of course, you can pick up your ammo with... This is, well, according to our prisoner, the Spaniards seek to destroy settlements that might be used for pirateer pirateering against their f treasure fleets and will surely come at us again. We need reinforcements if we are to repel further attacks. Whoop. Wrong button. Okay. You can drink from a water skin to restore yourself at any time. Be sure to refill it on open rows. Ah, there's the water skin I was talking about. And they give us two, which is awesome. You will find two more before the game is through. Okay. Another figure. All right. Oop. There's another pile. Alright, one quick thing here to make sure I got everything. And then we'll go do the bell. Hey, here we go. See, I knew I was missing something. Alright. Do, do, do. 
Okay. So the other thing you want to, my, the best advice I can give you, because you are going to die a lot, do not sell off anything until you're ready to buy something, because if you die, all your money gets dropped there, and then you have to make it back to that from wherever you respawn. And I don't know how much money I lost by, you know, just selling, selling, selling all my stuff and then running around with too much money in my hands and getting smoked. So not a good thing. So 602 is what we've got. So inventory wise. Yeah, see, we can only sell 40. Yeah, so it's not even worth it. And I would rather keep that because when I die. Alrighty. Hold on to your butts.